All right, so I'm gonna be showing you two different ways for I can change up the keyboard color on the Galaxy S21. Now, whenever I get a new Samsung phone, I usually like to customize a little bit, and this is one of the things that I will change. The first way you can do this is to download a third-party app. So you wanna to go to the Play Store, type in keyboard color, and right at the first three should be a keyboard called Neon. Now, I've used this one in the past. It's pretty cool, and it's also very easy to use, so I'm gonna show you that right here. All right, it doesn't take longer than like 10 seconds for this to install. And then when you do, you can just click open and it's gonna kind of just go through the steps of you know having it become your new keyboard. But I'm also gonna show you how to do this so that you can like make it your main keyboard if you wanna do that. All right, so we gotta do with a little ad pop-up right here. It's like five seconds long. We're just gonna clear this out. All right, and then we've got the enable option right here. So you just wanna okay it. You wanna activate it. And then you got to do one more step here. Okay, now that you're in, you're going to see the theme option. I'm just going to switch it to the darker theme in the top right here. I think this one's actually pretty cool. So whenever you got your theme, uh, you know, ready to go, um, you're basically good. I'm just going to exit out. I'm going to throw up my keyboard right now, and you're going to see that, you know, we got this new fancy, uh, you know, neon dark keyboard going on right here. So um, there it is. If you want to switch it back, you can just hold down and uh, switch it back to your like your main Samsung keyboard. And then if you want to like make it your main one, you would go into your settings here and change a couple things, which I'm going to show you. Okay, so from right there, you can just make it your main if you want to do that. Now, the second way, and this way is actually probably a little bit cooler, honestly, is to just change up the theme of your phone. So, you know, if you've never really messed around with the theme store too much, um, I know not a lot of people out there do all the time, but there are some really cool themes that you can change on your phone. And when you change up the theme, it basically changes everything up. So, I mean, it's going to be like you know, your, uh, your background, your phone app, your message app, literally everything that you're going to do. So I'm just going to kind of browse through here. I'm kind of looking for one that's pretty cool. I've already got a couple themes, um, you know, downloaded, but looking for a new one here. So I'm just kind of like browsing. Now they do have some paid options as well as some free. This one actually, actually looks pretty cool. It is kind of like a rose kind of theme, but it, I mean, it does look cool. I, I gotta say. So I'm going to download it. I'm going to set it and then we're going to open our message app and we're going to check out the keyboard. All right. How cool is that? So you can just see it change up the keyboard. Can you have a lot of fun checking out some of those different themes? Okay. Anyways, those are two methods, guys. Like I say, I, uh, you know, I usually like to customize any new Samsung phone I get. So this is one of the things I will do. Uh, I do want to wrap things up here, playing some more Into the Dead 2. You know, gotta, gotta kill some zombies. You know what I'm saying? This is how I do my thing. Absolutely love this game. And uh, yeah, we're gonna put in some work. Um, if you guys didn't have a chance, uh, also, like I said, if you could smash the like button um, and obviously subscribe if you haven't. And let's kill some zombies.